Hey everybody, I am here today to show you an easy math trick that you can use to read anyone's mind. You can use this trick to impress people really easily. Let's get right to it. This is the process you are going to ask them to pick a number between 1 and 10 and make sure that they pick a whole number you don't want them to choosing any number that has a fraction or decimal or any number you just want them uh, to pick a number between 1 and 10 okay then you are going to ask them to multiply that number 2 next you are going to tell them to take that answer and multiply by 5 so they will take the answer and multiply it by 5. For the next part, you are going to tell them to take that answer and divide it by the original number. And then you finally ask them to take that answer and subtract 7. Okay? So that's the whole process. Now, when you are done, you're going to tell them to guess the answer. After, after all of this and you're gonna guess the number 3 and if they did this correctly then they will always end up at 3 so all that you have to do is say I'm going to guess the number that you are at you are going to do some hand emotions to make it convincing I have a few examples so let's just say that they have picked the 5th number when they multiply by 2, it's going to bring them to 10. When they multiply by that number by 5, it's going to bring them to 50. And when they divide by the original number, which is 5, it's going to bring them to 10. And when they subtract 7, it's gonna bring them to 3. And when you guess 3, you will blow their mind now here's an another example let's say that they have chose the number seven okay if they take seven and they multiply by two so going to get 14 if they take 14 to multiply it by five so they get going to get 70 then if they divide by the original number which is seven they are going to get 10 and if they subtract 7, they are going to get 3. And when you guess the answer as being 3, once again you will blow the mind. And they can choose any number, any whole number between 1 and 10. So this will work. And you can convince anyone that you are reading their mind. If you use this very simple math trick, I have told you to how to do at using this little and then i have also provided you with two examples and that's all i have for you today thanks for watching